Well, I'm going to take a little trip on the monorail. I can feel it starting to spit. But there is the um, building here. This is the Hard Rock Cafe, which is right next to the Concorde. You can probably make out the Concorde sign. And this is how close the station is. That bu bu building there is the station. So I'm going to make my way up there. Catch a train. Look at Nanus. Oh, and the lift escalator is not working. Okay, I'm in the um, monorail station at Bukit Nanus, and I'm now waiting for the next train, which comes in ten minutes or something, and it's going to take me down here to Imbi. spending a few days next week the Jaya Times Square okay. it's a little bit busier than when I came the other morning as we can see I'll just have a wander over here lots of people today and everything is open and here is the hotel entrance which I will be gracing with my presence next week good to see that it's still here I was beginning to have my doubts watch out there's a train coming This is the um, Hard Rock Cafe in downtown Kuala Lumpur on Jalan Sultan Ismail. It's very early in the evening, so like me, because I'm such an old fart, I've got to have my meal and then <laughs> go to bed. But anyway, there's not much happening, but this is how it looks. Maybe later it'll get busier for the younger people. And I'm having a... Um, a glass of a chile and red wine, a cabernet, cabernet sauvignon. Not as good as the Australian one, I would say. I, <laughs> I, was, I sometimes feel like Mr. Bean when I come to some of these places. But don't ask me why, but I think it's just the sort of day I've had. I've had a very quiet day and I've I, um, I was sat by the pool for most of it, so I'm probably uh, overtired. I had very sore legs from a lot of walking yesterday up to that town. So 
I think I have an excuse and I'm getting old. So I ordered the fish and chips and this is how it comes. So a bit of coleslaw and um, tartare sauce I believe. Should be very nice I would hope. I'll let you know. Well, today is Friday the 27th and um, I had a day off yesterday around the pool because I was a bit tired my legs were really sore. Now today this is my um, downloaded map on Google Drive and this is of the KL transit system so I plan to go to um, Chinatown today which means that I go from uh, the train station which is just off to my right as I take this video um, I'm going to go around the corner to a place called Dang Wangi, which is where I came in on Sunday and we'll jump on the train there and we go to a station called Passar Seni and then it's about a 150, 200k, a uh, 200 um, metre walk to Chinatown or Jalan Pataling. So we'll see how we go. Bye, see you soon. I did say I'd be going to um, Dang Wangi to uh, get on the next train towards Hassar Seni, but it turns out I'm not. I'm going down to Bukit Nanus and then I will um, jump on another train which takes me to Passar Seni. In order to catch these trains, you have to get an automatic ticket, which I've just done, but I will show you how to do that at some later stage. This is the monorail line heading down towards um, Bukit Nanus. Not Bukit Nanus, what am I talking about? Bukit Bintang. I'm in Bukit Nanus now. Next station, Rajatulas. stairs to this station get another ticket out to Passar City so we go down into the bowels of the earth again up here I'm going on the line that says Kwasa Damansara, which is platform two. Next train is eight minutes. Okay, so I bought my ticket and I'm going even further underground now. It's mandatory to wear a mask in all public areas in Malaysia at the moment. So you can see I am. So only two stops and then I'm where I ought to be I guess. Okay, now we're 
Virgin and we're going to come out to that, uh, Central Market. Okay, I'm just getting my bearings in the station and this is where Kay and I came out a number of times before the station has changed. It's a lot bigger. But hey, that's progress, isn't it? So I'm going to go down and I'll actually um, be walking up that street there. This is why I love China towns. This is a camera shop. Look at it. It's selling old cameras from years gone by. Amazing. Okay, well, we're back at Jalan Pataling, which is the famous street here in Kuala Lumpur in Chinatown. So we'll have a little wander down there in a few minutes. Whew, I had to get out of the sun. It's so hot. And strangely enough, I bought a hat, but I don't know where it is. It's very early in the morning. And um, this place really jumps at night. <laughs> I read an interesting figure yesterday of Malaysia's um, population of 33 million or thereabouts. The Chinese Malays make up 23% of the population and they control 70% of the wealth of this country. Food Street. Yay! The pancakes. I don't want to sound racist, but I just realised I was walking along here with my mask off because it's so humid and hot. And then I realised, hey, I'm in the middle of Chinese New Year. A lot of these people could have come straight from China where COVID is rampant, so needless to say, the mask went back on. Look. Those who watch my videos will know that I love wandering around the back streets of places just to see what's there. I must get it from my father who was an inveterate explorer and he would have done the same sort of things if I walk up the back streets. Probably put my life in danger but hey, what's life without a risk? I'm actually looking for a temple. There is a temple around here that I saw on the um, thing. Maybe I'll go down the other street. If I go down this way, I believe that there is a temple and it's very, very colorful too. Well, this is an interesting food van. Taco, walk on the wild side. Mucho nacho. Hey, not open for business yet. Well, my memory didn't let me down because I do recall this particular temple and it is at the end of the street. Over there, that big tall building there is the Sheraton Four Points. And the building going up behind is that one that I said looked like SpaceX when I was up that uh, KL Tower the other day. 
Anyway, I'm going to see if I can get in here. This is the um, temple, the Chan Shi Shu Yuan. I'm not sure if I'm obviously not pronouncing that properly, but anyway. I'm going to have a look and see if I can go for a little wander inside. going from very bright light into dark so however Jalan Tan Tan Cheng Lok green apple and lemon juice time green apple and lemon and it's delicious if not very very sweet though yum This is another temple, but it's 
obviously very very busy it being Chinese New Year and all Okay, I'm gonna head down Lorong Bandar back to the station. It's beautiful. Lays, I suppose. It's no wonder I end up with sore legs. Because you get into this false sense of security, they give you escalators to go down stairs to come back up. <laughs> I'm just watching the song. So I'm going up to Jalan Sultan Ismail. This is where we came in last Sunday. Thank goodness I didn't have to uh, walk up this set of stairs. At least the escalator's going up this way. <laughs> Yay! But I'll tell you, KL has an amazing public transport system. It's fantastic. I thought I read my map correctly this morning and I thought I could get to Passar Seni by just going to Dan Wangi. And I could. But for some reason, I got waylaid. Anyway, I'm back now. I have a little walk around the corner here. On the other side of this hill is Bukit Nanus and the hotel. Is that making that out? That's a sign that confirms it. it says KL Monorail Bukit Nanus Station this way. Well, after that big walk this morning out of Chinatown, I, uh, I thought I'd come out and have a little bit of lunch outside. And <laughs> all the restaurants that I was going to go to, I was going to go to a barbecue, a Korean barbecue, but it's absolutely chock a block full. And I found this little one here, which is Dubai Love, and he's doing shish kebabs, or what do we call them, wraps, kebabs. Anyway, I'm going to have one of those. And then I'm going for a swim. Well, that looks delicious. I am really going to enjoy this. That's great. What a nice garlic and sauce, I think. Do you like to have some to try for free? Hot sauce? Do you like to have some to try for free? No, 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 no. I'll come back. I will come back. Anyway, we're really nice. Thank you so much. We're having a rain shower. Well, what a difference a day in a, or a few minutes actually makes. I just looked out the window out there and it is quite thundering down, let me tell you. Now that puts a little bit of a dampener on what I was planning to do, to go to dinner. So I might have to actually rethink. I'm sorry, I've got this thing in there. See, you're, you're on the window. I'm, I'm actually taking a video of me in the window. Right? This is for the arty farty people, right? Anyway, I'm um, now going to have to think in terms of do I want to go out and walk in the rain? I do have a brolly. I bought a brolly the other day. Or do I just go downstairs and eat in the restaurant down here? Nah. Or even get room service? Nah. I think we'll venture out. You can see, of course, <laughs> it's not real pleasant. There's the monorail 
down there. That's really coming nasty. Whoa. Anyway, it's not unexpected. Well, I've made it to the restaurant, which is a Korean barbecue restaurant. We've had a real downpour of rain and it's sort of flooded the place because it's reasonably open to the street, as you can see. However, they're still serving food, or they will be. So I'm going to um, have a curry with some biryani and some naan, or rocky, I think. Well, I'm starting off with a yogurt lassie. Not too sweet, because they have a tendency to make these things very sweet. And the strange thing is I'm, stand, I'm sitting right next to the McDonald's restaurant here. <laughs> well, I don't need to tell anybody that I am going to enjoy this. The smell, the aroma is absolutely wonderful. So I have a lamb masala, some biryani rice, plain rice and vegetables and some roti bread.